Government workers here in Clark County, as well as the cities of Las Vegas and Henderson, earned more than a billion dollars last year. And that includes $182 million in overtime and other pay. Let's bring in Rachel O'Brien from Open the Books, joining us live this morning to break down those numbers. So, Rachel, what have you found as far as the breakdown with that big figure? Yeah, Clark County's payroll was $631 million. Las Vegas was $272 million and Henderson was $234 million. Collectively, the three employing more than 21,000 people. Um, of the payrolls, Clark County, 16% of Clark's County, Clark County's was overtime and other pay. Uh, also 16% in Henderson and 20% uh, of Las Vegas's payroll was overtime and other pay. And Rachel, let's provide even more context here. What were some of the highest paid employees you found? Yeah, so um, in Clark County, about 16% of the workforce made 100000 or more. In Las Vegas and Henderson, those numbers were bigger. Actually, 26% of employees made six figures. So the highest paid person in Clark County was the former county manager, Yolanda King. Um, took home more than $728,000 last year when she retired. Um, about 250000 of that was base pay and then another 472000 in other pay. Also, former Chief Public Defender Curtis Brown uh, took home more than four hundred and fifty thousand um, dollars. The Director of Aviation uh, Rosemary uh, Vasilides she took home more than three hundred and sixty nine thousand. In both Las Vegas and Henderson, the city manager um, either was the highest paid or the second highest paid. Henderson's Richard Derrick uh, took home three hundred thirty four thousand. Um, and Las Vegas's Jorge uh, Cervantes was the second highest paid, took home 318000 So while Rosemary and her husband, Billy Vassiliadis, are staples here, they're icons in Las Vegas, and she um, is underneath that umbrella of being a highly compensated employee. Let's focus on the average worker. Did, is there some modest income here in Southern Nevada? Yeah, in all three of these government employers, we see the average worker making a modest income in base pay. Uh, Clark County's average employee was making 40000 51000 in Las Vegas, 53000 in Henderson. Um, and so people also made overtime in other pay, um, but that was the base pay. It was pretty modest. Across the board, firefighters made a lot of overtime. Uh, more than half the overtime in Clark County went to firefighters two-thirds of the overtime in Las Vegas, and then in Henderson, police and fire accounted for three-quarters of the overtime pay. And Rachel, before we let you go, you are really exhaustive in your research. Um, is there any other major American city that is sort of comparable to Las Vegas that you've been able to kind of check out these figures against another city, and where do we fare? Yeah, um, we, we look at figures in Nashville regularly. Um, similarly sized cities, you do have people at the top who are making a lot, 300,000, you know, in the 200,000s. So it's, it's not uncommon, um, especially in the case of those two that I mentioned, um, who retired former county manager and former chief public defender. They got these packages as they were retiring. They were leaving their jobs. Um, you're talking about, uh, accrued time, unused time that added up and, and ended up costing a lot of money. So it's not unusual, but it is pretty top heavy uh, across the board in, in a lot of, of major cities.